Hi there, it's Victoria Gibson from victoriagibson.com and I wanted to share a new exciting feature from Facebook in their Facebook Live functionality and that is screen share. So until now, you've only really been able to use the, um, the live streaming to camera function just using Facebook Live without any extra tools or plugins or software that you want to add on and use, which can be clunky and uh, a little tricky to use or can cost you money. This way, you can now be jumping on the functionality of Facebook Live, which is being able to live stream anywhere uh, to your page, your group, um, your personal profile, to a page group, uh, page or group that you're not even managing, uh, you're, that you're a member of or that, that allow you to live stream to. So it's a way of reaching people with your message that is augmented by Facebook because Facebook want a lot more of this live streaming to happen. They know it creates more engagement on their platform and will create a lot, uh, a lot better user experience. So they're doing all that they can in their power to um, really support anyone who jumps on and live streams because they they know it's great for engagement. So as soon as you live stream, you your um, say you live stream on your Facebook page, for example, which is where I would suggest you you do do it because you have the opportunity to utilize um, ads and and the like to boost it even more. Um, but say you do it on your Facebook page all your um, page likers will automatically see a pop-up on their phone or their desktop that you've gone live. So it's an extra way of alerting them to a message that you have um, and creating that real engagement for your own brand because people do just love watching live streams. Um, and the issue with that has been great for um, doing some teaching moments, driving relationship and engagement. But um, where it hasn't been as great is for creating a structured presentation like a webinar. Um, because if you're not using webinars in your business, you absolutely should because they're a way to create value for your audience, establish your credibility and authority, and also present an offer and obviously convert, um, convert people who watch into um, an offer, whether that be a paid product up front or a um, an invitation to um, you know go deeper with you in a um, some kind of sales conversation or valuable session that leads to an investment in a program. So this is why I believe this screen share feature is so important. I just wanted to run through with you as best I can on this um, video how you get started. So I'm going to go to my page because as I said, I think page is a great place to start this. Um, absolutely you will not get as many views as you do on your personal profile but it suits um, it does suit a business purpose more because the people who are following you obviously understand your business um, and they know that you're there to um, create information and updates around your business and then also you have the opportunity of using it later um, in an ad so or you can just but just quickly boost it if you want to. Um, but I'd suggest using it as an ad, um, collecting the views on that if possible, adding links to it um, that lead to offers, etc. So anyway, let's get started showing you how to do that. So um, the best way to do that is go to your page. You'll see I'm on desktop obviously, but you can do this on mobile too. You're going to start a live video um, here. You're going to have, if you want to share um, a webinar presentation, you're going to have handy a um, PowerPoint or a keynote presentation. Here I've got like a webinar presentation that I'd like to share. So I have that like here um, and my 65,000 windows I have open. Um, so please bear with me there. Uh, so what we do here is we're going to um, write a quick description, um, check out Facebook Live, my, uh, the new Facebook Live feature or um, uh, something like see what I've uh, you know what I what my great my fresh news here or put it you can put a link in here as well if you want them to go somewhere else after I don't think you need to just straight uh, straight away but you could just do some sort of intro to give them a bit of a teaser as to what you're going to um, going to share actually we need to do the live um, the live part first sorry I'll show you where you can do that so you go click on live here and it's going to show your face to start. 
um, and then I'm going to go to this button here which is share my screen and then it's going to ask me what I want to share do I want to share my entire screen you may want to I'm using Chrome here by the way that's where it, it works best so I would go into Chrome there might also be a um, a little prompt that asks you to download the extension, the Facebook live stream extension for Chrome first. You need to do that first to share your screen. I then go to application window and select that keynote. Um, so I'm going to click on there and go, I want to share that. Now the issue with sharing the keynote is that I can't share it in slideshow mode. So I can't get rid of um, this sort of uh, stuff at the top and on the side. And in order to flick through, I need to keep that um, this presentation mode so that I can click through, okay? So that is one of the downsides. And I also can't put my, um, my beautiful uh, face on there either. So um, I am just gonna, going to be able to share the one screen. I can't share a video on top as well. But anyway, still, for a free opportunity, this is a great way to run for a presentation and then they will be seeing your seeing it like this. So this is what they see. You've got a preview here. They'll see it like this, which I actually don't think is too bad. And you can toggle through the slides and talk through that as well. Make sure that you know your microphone, your built-in microphone's clicked in if it's on your laptop, or you know you haven't got any um, extensions. You might have to give it a bit of a test to begin with. As I said, I'm sharing it on a page on my Facebook page. You could also be sharing um, on your timeline, which is your personal profile, uh, in a group or in an, uh, oh no, sorry, that's that's with your page, sorry. Um, or you can share, you can go to a group. So before you click on that, you need to click on the group, okay? So you can't change it afterwards. I can just change the pages that I'm managing, um, which page I broadcast it to. I can't change where I'm gonna do the live broadcast once I've clicked the screen share button and then I'm simply going to click on go live and it's going to start sharing this um, preview of my keynote and then I can stop sharing it and publish it um, and then decide to um, use an ad to get more views on that video if I so choose so there's a quick little tutorial as I said you can st um, when it said to share a um, Screen, I could share um, an application window. So if I had a video playing or something like that, or a Chrome tab, I could share on there as well. Um, so yeah, it just gives you that um, opportunity to um, hop in and do it. So um, give it a try and uh, let me know how you go.